excuse me. I'm just dying. For me, drips so refers to nasal drip brought to brought up by allergies. <laughs> Yeah, Golden Golden just opens a trench coat and he just has f nasal drips on the inside. You want to buy a it. sample? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You want to buy? A hey, you want to stop sniffling? I got the I got the cure right here. Yeah, see, Ryzen knows what I'm talking about. We look fabulous. I find it hilarious that like periodically, like there were some um, there were some like little sketches every now and then, based on what goes on in calls and shit. And at one point, yeah. I was like, for whatever reason, I was suddenly dr like drawn in some kind of dress where it's like it's slanted uh, across the shoulder bone. Oh, uh, an offset dress. That's what it's called. Ah, oh, damn it! Go, 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 go! Oh. It's like a one shoulder dress. An offset. Golden, I'm gonna need you to get hit with less electric balls if, if that's not too much trouble. Oh, I'll make sure. What set of clothes <laughs> that you won't wear? David, you spelled clothes wrong. It's supposed to be spelled with a TH. Damn it! No! I missed my ride. Thank you, fireplace. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking bastard. I missed my ride because of you. Fuck you. Listen, are you gonna. You missed like, a Zoomer. He's got to turn this car around, guys. He missed his Uber. Listen, yeah. I <laughs> I just said... saw a video of Golden kicking the fireplace, and the fireplace was like, fuck you, and burned him. <laughs> what? I'm, I, what? <laughs> That's the ultimate, like, you ever do that thing where, like, something, like, an object runs into you, and then you get so mad that you punch the object, but you end up hurting yourself? That's essentially what Golden did with the fireplace. Yeah. Is this a real footage thing? Or is this, like... No, he's doing it in the video game. Oh! In the stream. Oh, I'm, I'm... Oh, okay, let me click the stream. Right. Like, imagine somebody, like, running into a door, and then they get oh. upset and then punch the door, but then they break their hand on the door. Like, that's what Golden was doing. There's actually, like, there's a similar story that I have that's kind of coincidental. Like, it didn't inflict pain, but it was a little bit of karma. So, a uh, childhood friend of mine, uh, like, he and I, like, we would always get upset whenever the bell rang and that recess was over. Um, mm -hmm. And, they're, like, little did we forget is that there's supposed to be a secondary ring... Indicating we're all supposed to be in class. Yeah. So when the first time the bell rang, uh, we got annoyed with it. So we would take rocks and we would throw at it, and it goes ting, ting, ting. And at one point, <laughs> it just it just goes on, oh, and we just like it scared us away. We're like oh god, oh, we god. got the bell angry. <laughs> like literally, you got the bell angry. Yeah. Looking back at it, I thought that was the funniest shit ever. It's like, stupid bell. Why do you have to end a recess so soon? <laughs> oh, shit. Run away. Run away. It's, yeah, it's like Monty Python. Run away. Run away. Get up there. Golden Jesus. got the bell end of that deal. <laughs> oh, my God. No, kill yourself. No, I got one better. Golden got the bell end of that deal. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, ring a ding ding, then, my friend. Oh, he got, he got ring a ding. Yeah, what a dead ringer. How many more bell puns can we come up with? I don't know. I, I would have to ring my noggin to figure it out. Oh, no, no. She said the thing. <laughs> Golden I mean, paused the game because he's so mad. <laughs> Is that an actual song? Yeah, it's from the 70s. It's a disco. Okay. Ring my bell, baby? That's the lyrics? I cannot believe you fucking played off a sitcom laughing track. My life is officially over. We are stuck in WandaVision. <laughs> we are stuck in WandaVision. You're welcome. <laughs> You so didn't I'm even do anything. You you're welcome. <laughs> I'm the one who played the, the sitcom laugh track. I just played off of it. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Turn that one more time. Jimmy, pull pull that clip up. Pull that clip up one more time. Let's see it again. 
It's like you I'm need, I'm Rob Derrick. You need from like a laugh track with like a funny music towards the end, like dee 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 dee. Damn. You know that's actually yeah. I might actually look into that. Okay. Well, let me find it. I'm very good at finding shit. Hold on. You know, I don't know if whether or not I should say this, but I might as well say it anyway. I don't know what's worse. Mm -hmm. The fact that, metaphorically speaking, the stream has become somewhat of a sitcom, like a comedy sitcom, or that there's been some shit going on that you might as well turn it into a drama sitcom, like The Young and the Restless, or As the World Turns. Make a dynasty in the world. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Take your crowd and set them on fire with gasoline! <laughs> Why? That's horrible to say. <laughs> Mario, Mario stay awake. Gets out his emotions. Oh my god! Why are we calling me mom? Why did you call her mom? I am not your mother. Yes, Royal well, Paladin. Mother, we must feast for the harvest. Nope. Royal I Paladin. Am not your mom. Guys, shut up for a second. Royal Paladin. I too wish Bliss were here, but she's got her own shit to do. Yeah. We can't all be available all the time. This is the first time I've been in your stream in like months. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't know you were streaming. I just thought we were like chilling, watching you play video games and just chilling. I didn't oh. know you were streaming. Well, now you know. Oh, damn it. Well, I, I fucked that up, didn't I? Oh. Well, at least the clock is right twice a day. God damn it. <laughs> You are lucky that I am not flying over to New York City to strangle you right now. I do not live in New York City, my friend. I live in upstate New York. There is quite a difference. I was talking to Wolfhead. <laughs> hey, you're near me. Yo, six hours away. How do you know that for certain? <laughs> because I live in, um, in upstate New York. I'm not too far from Syracuse or Albany. Uh, oh, that's where they have the steamed hams. Oh my god. They're very good no. steam hams. Don't you dare neglect our steam hams. Oh no, I'm, I'm, not not gonna... I'm not neglecting your steamed hams. I'm not even going to justify that with a laugh track. You got to earn the laugh track. You can't go wrong with a steamed ham. Wait, where's my... I have a boo in here somewhere. I should probably get that. Here it is. Okay, I hope okay, that's that not a third party. Like a yeah, I hope that wasn't a third party song. That wasn't a third party song, that was sound effects. Okay. Imagine Golden gets copyrighted for a laugh track. Oh my god. That'd be fucked up. That would wouldn't even make any sense. <laughs> it wouldn't. Although I will admit, I still uh found it hilarious that you made that um that you actually edited that one segment where, in my podcast, he made some stupid pun about shoes. And then you had a scrolling yeah. credits of, like, different insulting names. And then yeah. you were using, like, what sounds like a Beatles song. Wouldn't it be nice if we could all be... Da, 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 Something like that. Da, da, da. It's like... It's like Does a... anyone in chat know what that is? Pardon me for not getting the, um, you know, the band Wait. names right. Like, as much as I'm, like, a big classic rock junkie, my knowledge of 60 bands are kind of, like, vague on that one. I'm mostly, like, I listen to 70s and 80s. Ah, nope, nope, nope. Grab Wait, the pole. what was the song, Wouldn't It Be Nice? That's by the Beach Boys. It was probably in their Animal Sounds band, uh, album. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the Beach Boys. <clears throat> Sometimes they sound similar to each other. And then I forgot, oh yeah, the Beatles became much more experimental in their later years. It was not the Beatles. Uh, oh, well, we were talking about the Beach Boys. They didn't really get experimental, really. At one point, they were try they tried to uh, with uh, what's called Smile. Mm -hmm. And it was never released. It was to compete with, um, I think it was Sgt. Pepper. That was a really weird album. I know, and it's amazing. Ring me on, dead man. It was 20 years ago today. Sergeant Pepper taught the band to sing. Oh, damn it! 
Turn me on, <laughs> dead man. How much are you willing to bet that Sega took inspiration for the Beatles to write Dr. Eggman? I mean, I wouldn't be shocked. I am the Eggman. I am the Eggman. I grew up with a mom who was I am the walrus. Cuckoo like, kachoo. Shit, I, I never met a Beatles fan that was so hardcore than my mother. Like, fuck, she wanted to marry, like, Paul. Is Paul the good one? Wait, which one is the good one of the Beatles? What do you I mean, who's the know. good one of the Beatles? I don't I know. Mean, I, I do know they have that controversy yeah, where they just, like, where they just left that guy at the at the truck, truck stop and he got kicked out of the Beatles, so. Was that John because he, like, was with Yoko Ono? No, like, three of them, like, I, I don't, Golden can fill in the blanks, because I'm sure he knows. There was a story where, with the Beatles, where they, they kicked someone out of the band, but the way they kicked him out of the band was that they just left his ass at, like, a fucking stop or something. I don't know. You would have to ask Key for him about that. Yeah, Key would fucking know, wouldn't she? <laughs> I do know this, uh, one of the members, I, 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 I'm going to assume it was John Lennon who said that, because he was such a dick. Um, in an interview somewhere, because of how big of a deal the Beatles were, <laughs> he literally stated that we were probably bigger than Jesus. And that started an uproar. Okay. Yeah. He got, he got quite a foot in his mouth on that one. I don't understand why people think, I, I don't, I don't, what I don't get is that why did Yoko Ono start singing? Like, I'm not trying to be a bitch or a dick. Wow. But... Wow. No, have you ever heard her sing? Uh, dude, the only reason people, like, get that far with doing something they shouldn't is that they don't grow up with anyone around them to tell them no. Well, she sounds horrific in my personal opinion. Now, other people, they can say it's artistic interpretation, but I don't think it's artistic when you're screaming like a goddamn banshee trying to, like, play the ukulele and hop on a trombone. Okay, I'm now having a mental image of hearing Corey, uh, Corey Taylor's Slipknot voice while he's playing a, like an acoustic instrument. Hey. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Well, I bit the dust. Do 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 do. You know what else eat. bit the dust? These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Cue that laugh track. No. <laughs> Golden's the least favorite thing on my soundboard is laugh. I don't Why? like because it feels weird. You don't, you've never been a fan of the Truman Show? No, okay, I haven't seen that movie, but I was never a fan of hearing the crowd laugh in the background because someone said a thing, and we're supposed to assume it's supposed to be funny. But I wasn't laughing because I didn't get it when I was a kid. It drove me crazy. <laughs> they said something like, I just got from the, like, I could just got out of the bathroom and then I lost my job. Ah! They'll say anything, and there's a laughing track. Why? It's like, this is the saga where I slowly turn Golden insane. I literally turn him into a mental patient because I won't stop playing the laugh track. Dude, have you seen WandaVision? What? I'm trying to watch WandaVision, dude. I've seen clips and bits, and I've seen the intros, and it looks very interesting, but I do not have Power Mount Plus or wherever it's being held. It's on Disney it's on Plus. Disney Plus. Well, but... that explains a lot because I don't have Disney Plus. But fair enough. Gizna but I like the fact how they reference Bewitch, uh, Leave it to Beaver. Um, I love how they did like the Full House um, vibes. I love how they did um, All in the Family. It, I I like the homages they paid to. It was great. And then like Boy Meets World and shit like that. I was like, oh. I like that one of them had a um, one of them had some kind of 60s sort of look to it. And it's like a, it's like a little animation in there. It, it felt more like uh, what was it? Uh, what I, I dream of genie. Oh, uh, yeah. bewitched! I thought it was I dream of genie. Oh shit! Well, both of those shows back in the day, they were very similar, made by two guys, and but the guys didn't know each other's show. 
Um, but both made very similar show. The only difference is, is that one was a married woman and she wanted to give up her powers to live more like a mortal. And then the other one, she was a woman running around in like a slinky like harem outfit and like calling this guy master and she has all these magical powers and shit and she want she's fallen in love with him but he hasn't fallen in love with her and she makes his life topsy turvy. Especially when uh uh Tony, her master, ends up trying to date other women and she's like, Oh, I don't like that. So she ends up making hell for him. It's are, a great show. I are you talking that. about the plot of I Dream of Genie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I remember that. Uh, some guy from the Air Force saves, um, like, finds a magic lamp, and yeah, most of what yeah, you said. Yeah, it's one of my personal favorites. It was one of my first impressions of what a real relationship was like <laughs> as a kid. Yeah, kids are very relationship. Wait, you shouldn't get you shouldn't get like relationship advice from a sitcom. No, like a when I was younger, I thought that was like how a, real, a, a normal relationship would be. Or, I, or my other core uh, elements of a normal relationship would be my grandparents. Dude, I remember, like, I've, I've seen a clip not too long ago of how Genie acts with, um, takes on some scenarios. Like, he had, like, I forgot what the guy's name was, but he had to go on a business trip. And she was asking to come along with, and he tried to reason with her about certain things. And she was just working her way just to go with him. Like, she, oh, yeah. used, she used, like, some kind of, like, one of those boat models inside a bottle, fills it up with water to give an example of some kind. It's like... Oh, yeah. That's when, um, that's when Tony had to go, like, on uh, a mission with a ship or something like that. I yeah. Ah, uh, but it's a great show. I'm sure it is. Yeah, you should watch it. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God! At least I didn't die. Still. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, it's on a delay, so I'm going to see what this is about in a minute. Wait, are you not seeing the... Oh, hang on a second. Let me fix that. Yeah, because you got disconnected, remember? Oh, oh that's watching god. Mario pretending to be Mr. TikTok. Oh my god, you, you hit the wall. Yeah, no, he yeah. hit the he hit the ceiling side. He hit the roof end. I'm like, no! Well, I love this interpretation of Pink Floyd's The Wall movie. It's very, very cinematic. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that would have been a perfect laugh track moment. No, don't you fucking dare. Yes! No, yes! no. Listen, I am, I am the king of the laugh track. You have to earn the laugh track. I'm not just out here handing out laugh trap, laugh track uh, stings. So, if you're gonna get me to press the laugh track button, it needs to be either funnier or a million times cornier than that. Oh, you. I should have pressed the laugh track button when Golden fell off the thing, but. That moment. That started. would. No. You need, you're like, just adding insult to injury, dude. Come on. <laughs> you need. um. What you need is, like, we gotta find you some, like, um, I think stingers, like, of music stingers for, like, sitcoms. Just, like, two seconds once. No! Seconds. It happened again. It happened again. <laughs> All right. I quit, like. <laughs> I had my thumb over the button. I was like, if this motherfucker makes the same mistake one more time. <laughs> Golden, come back! Did he I'm leave? Sorry. Did he actually leave? Oh shit! Oh fuck! Did he leave? Oh god! No. Chat is just you and me now. I have taken over the Golden Fox Empire. What am I? Empire. Damn it! <laughs> pendulum, get I out of the way. What about a pencil? I like pencils. Pendulum. Oh, I thought you said he said pencils. Get out of the way. Now everybody in chat is all cringing and cringing and <laughs> cringing and in disgust at me. He raged because of it. Why must you do that, Wolf? Because as his friend, I gotta tease him sometimes. As the world turns. That was a soap opera. That was a that was a drama sitcom. 
Golden, do you need a drink? Yeah, if you had if you had the opportunity to get any drink, uh, what would it be, Golden? Water. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I love it when Keith says it like that. It's just it's funny. Water. Yeah, no, it's like Markiplier needs water. <laughs> Shaggy need water. Ethan need water. Finally, Jesus Christ! Oh, What's with this organ shit? What is that? <laughs> I've never seen him get so mad so fast. <laughs> the instant he heard the organ, what the fuck? What kind of shenanigans? What the? Get that shit out of here, dude. That's that. <laughs> that sounds like the kind of music that ends on like an intense cliffhanger. I mean, if you really want it, I guess I could. You know, I it mean, is a. There was one person in chat that was just like, good one, Wolf, and now he's being yelled at for saying good one, Wolf. <laughs> so not only is my is my joke bad, but anyone who thinks my joke is good gets immediately penalized. No, Can no. Golda Fox make it across? Tune in next episode of Golda Fox Plays. Because yeah, it like sounds a, so like thing. it sounds so intense. It's from Love of Life from uh, 1951 drama. Dude, like if we we, we want to talk about like classic 50 sitcoms and such, like something that had a charm. Uh, I love Lucy. Oh my god, I love that woman. I fucking love that woman. I love that woman so damn much. You would go gay her. for her. I won't go gay for her, but I want. I would be like, you are an amazing person. <laughs> I love her, but I'm not like gonna, you know, go downtown to Red Town in her bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't you don't want to. You, you don't want to peruse her bushes. No, not really. Not really. Okay. I don't well, really want to go. Pick, <laughs> if you had to pick one guy, you would go gay for. Who would it be? Like a celebrity? Anybody? Oh fuck. God. I have to think about this one, too. I don't know. I want to say Chris Hemsworth. He's a pretty handsome man. Henry Winkler and John Stamos. Uh, okay, well, that was quick. And 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 the guy, Mario, who played uh, A.C. Slater. No! Oh, damn oh, well, it. I'm sorry. That was my decision. What the fuck? Oh, shit. What happened? It closed on me. Oh, that emulator is fucking with you today. Apparently... You just scream like no, like you have disapproved my choices. No, I. No! I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. That was the most like epically timed moment. Like, oh my god, this is deserving its own top five. God damn it! Everybody in chat is like, oof. Uh, uh. They're probably like, what the fuck? Let me see what they're saying. One of them said oof. The other one's like, no. <laughs> no, you will not crash. Ugh, I don't know who no, I, I will not. I will not fuck John Stamos <laughs> or Mario Lopez. That was his name, or Henry Winkler. You know, you know. Uh, Golden comes up to his emulator and he's like, "Hey, can you work for like maybe two hours?" And then the emulator is like, oh, "No, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder." <laughs> Yep. <laughs> okay, so to reflect on what I was saying earlier, uh, who I would go gay for, this is kind of stretching it as far as quote unquote celebrities go. I would have to say Danny Avedan. No, oh, Danny Avedan is also a handsome man. He can sing too. He could serenade you in the bedroom. And he's Jewish. And he's, well, I don't know what that does for you, but sure, yeah, he's Jewish. <laughs> that's, that's something. <laughs> That's that's a thing he adds to his character. It's like, and he's Jewish. No, oh, I was I was kind of like at the same boat with Banana Man. I was like, um, okay, maybe he just has a type. You know what they say about Jewish men? 
What? What they say about Jewish men? No, I was asking you because I, I, I don't. You're the one who said he was Jewish. You tell us, Golden. Yeah. What do I they say about? <laughs> what do they say about Jewish men? I'll have to ask. I would have to ask Dan about that. 